everyone welcome back to my channel this is the makeup look I am doing today I hope you guys love it don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and enjoy the video hello starting off with my foundation and brows already done to save time these are the products that I've used and they will all be linked below next I am priming my eyelids and using a really good base which is a soft ochre paint pot as always and I'm actually going to use this to carve out my brows as well And using the same product and the same brush, I am just carving them out to make them look nice and sharp and defined underneath. Next, going in to set the base eyeshadow, I'm going in with Foxy out of the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette with a big fluffy blending brush. This just acts as a really smooth base so all of our eyeshadows blend out really nicely. And one of the oldest tricks in the book, the old sticky tape trick, we're going to use that one today to get a really nice sharp edge, almost like a cat eye with the eyeshadow. Just make sure that both sides are exactly even, otherwise you will look ridiculous. So now that I feel like our makeup look is set up, now we can begin. I feel like this is where I should start my makeup looks because all the other stuff is just preparation. Anyway, I'm taking this Bobbi Brown eyeshadow color in the shade Taupe 4 and I'm going to be contouring the, contouring the socket of my eye. And now I'm going to be using this Lime Crime eyeshadow brightener on the inside section of my mobile lid. This is what's going to make the yellow color look really, really bright and make it stand out. This stuff can dry and set quite quickly, so just make sure you are blending it out before it has time to dry too much. And then go on with whatever color you like. I chose yellow, but you guys could choose pink or red or gold or silver or gray, purple, whatever you like. Um, straight on top of it and now I'm using a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm just patting the eyeshadow straight on top of the eyeshadow brightener don't rub because you will get a lot of fallout just patting is the best technique and now I'm going in with my black gel eyeliner you can use absolutely any brand whatever you like but a gel is much better than a liquid for this and you can see that I am smudging this out this is probably one of the hardest parts of the whole eye makeup look because once again similar to the eyeshadow brightener this stuff can set a lot um, quicker than any other type of product so you do need to move with it quite quickly but the whole idea of this is this is what gets you that really really jet black define um, color on the outside of the eye and Putting a black eyeshadow over the top of this just makes your life so much easier because it's really pigmented. So just make sure you blend out the edges um, a little bit now so it's not too hard later on when you put the black eyeshadow on top. And now just going in with any black eyeshadow that you have and a small flat brush and we're just patting it directly over the top of where the black gel eyeliner was. You want to try and keep that V shape, well, it's like a sideways V shape happening. You don't want to take the black eyeshadow too much higher than where you put the black gel because if you take that higher, that means by the time you blend and add brown, it's going to be like beyond the eyebrows. So just try and keep it really, really close to the gel liner. And now I'm going into the darker shadow on the Bobbi Brown kit and I'm using a fluffy blending brush and now is when I'm blending out the harsh defined line through the socket of my eye. So just trying to diffuse that black as much as possible and really take your time blending. And here I just switch up the brush because I felt like that blending brush was a little bit too big so it wasn't really getting me anywhere. So now I picked up a quite small blending brush. I use this all the time in my videos. It's just a cheap BYS brush but it is thebomb.com. And I'm using the rich brown eyeshadow and I'm using that to blend out the black. Um, I find it easier than just using a clean brush to blend out black. And 
And now time to take the sticky tape off the eyes. That is the best feeling in the world. I'm just taking my Beauty Blender now, which is still damp and still has foundation on it, just to remove um, any little bits that the sticky tape might have left. And I'm going in with my favorite concealer, MAC Pro Long Wear. This is also a brightening concealer, and I love to use it under the eyes. Um, there's no point doing it beforehand because you're just going to get stuff everywhere, so you may as well wait until now. And um, I'm grabbing my Beauty Blender to blend that out. And to set that, I'm using my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Translucent Setting Powder. <laughs> And to go on and set the rest of my face, I'm just using my um, MAC Studio Fix Pressed Powder. And I'm going back into this lighter taupe colour and I'm starting to do our eyeshadow under the eyes. I'm actually going to dip into the darker colour as well. So just start with the lighter one and smoke it out and then pick up the darker colour and smoke that out also. And this brush is absolute key. It's the MAC 239. And now I wanted to highlight the inner tear duct of both eyes, so I'm using the same Lime Crime Brightening Eyeshadow Base, and I'm going in with the Napoleon uh, Mosaic Gold Loose Eye Dust. If you have a um, loose shimmer or glitter or something, you can definitely use that instead, but I liked this one because it has yellow reflex. So once I blended it uh, into the eyeshadow top and bottom, it threw off um, a really nice yellow gold tone. And as you can see right now, I am blending that loose dust into the eyeshadow top and bottom to give a really nice smoky look. Now I'm picking up the same brush, the flat brush that I used for the yellow, and I am blending the yellow out more. So really lightly pressing it and overlapping it onto the brown and the black. That gives the best smoky look. And now it's time for eyeliner. I'm going in with the same black gel eyeliner that I used earlier. I am aligning the inner waterline at the bottom and I'm taking the same MAC 239 to smudge that out straight away whilst it's still um, wet. And now it's time to do our wing eyeliner on top. I do have a winged eyeliner tutorial, which I will link down below, which I explain in uh, further detail as to how I like to do my wing liner. And now I'm taking these two orange colors here and I'm putting them through the socket of my eye. I wanted it to throw off a, an orange tangerine kind of color because I think it just looks so amazing with the yellow. And I'm just smudging this out with my MAC 217 brush. And of course I'm smoking the exact same colours right underneath my eye as well so it has that tangerine effect on top and bottom. And now I'm just going in with this dip brow to sharpen up my brows a little bit more, make them quite defined uh, on the top and the bottom of the brows. I also wanted to extend the tail of my brow a little bit more. And now just to be really particular, I'm using this spoolie from the Essence Comb just to make sure that the beginning of the brows are squared off perfectly. And now time for a quick coat of mascara. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to go in with some falsies anyway. And as you all know, I do like to use a waterproof on my bottom lashes because when I smile and pull funny faces, I don't want it to smudge. Finally time to contour this face. I'm going in with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Dark Deep and I am packing this stuff on. I love it when I have a fake tan on because I feel like I can just go absolutely nuts with the bronzer.
And now I'm just popping my lashes on. These are the Manicare lashes in the style Alessandra. And once you have your lashes in place, don't forget to squeeze them gently to your natural lashes to secure them. And now time for some blush. I'm going in with MAC Dolly Mix right on the apples of my cheeks to make my cheeks look fuller than what they already are. And I really did love how it was throwing off the pink. However, because I put the tangerine through the eyes, I thought I would go in with a little bit of MAC style on top of it just to give that orange kind of effect as well on my cheeks. And now time for the best highlight ever, Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop. I'm going in with a fan brush and I am highlighting the highest points of my cheekbones. I'm taking it also down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, and then I go a little bit crazy and I even highlight above my brow bone. I know, calm your farm, Rachel, seriously. And now time for the lips. I'm going in with MAC Cherry Lip Liner and I'm slightly overlining my lips because I do like the fuller effect. I am also tracing in the outer corners to try and give a little bit of an ombre look. I'm even then being a little bit cheeky and putting some of that eyeshadow brightening powder right in the center to give a bit more of a pouty look. And then I'm going in with Oh, what's this one called? Um, Lady Danger, rubbing them together and then quickly lining around the edges once more to secure everything in place. And a makeup look would not be complete without a final douse of the MAC Fix Plus to hold everything in place. I like to just dab in any particularly wet areas with my beauty blender. And that, of course, brings me to the very end of this boring dancing makeup tutorial. I hope you guys loved this video because I surely did enjoy making it for you all. Don't forget to leave me a comment in the comments box and I will see you in my next video. Bye!